Hello, I'm Archana, a Technical Account Manager here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the most benefit from your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Reserved instance by modifying it to meet your needs. Let's get started. EC2 Reserved Instances allow AWS customers to save up to 70% of their hourly cost that they spend on running instances. However, sometimes your technical requirements change and you might need to use instances with different parameters. Modifying your EC2 reserved instances as well as exchanging your EC2 convertible reserved instances can make a significant impact on your cost savings. Let's take a look at several scenarios to show how you can modify or exchange a reserved instance to fulfill new requirements of your application while keeping the cost benefits of the reserved instance. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Make sure that your console is set to the region where you run the resources. To view your reserved instances, navigate to the Reserved Instances tab on the left-hand side. If you want to find the reserved instance that you need or that you want to modify, you can also apply filters. In my example, I'll modify one T2 small reserved instance that I have selected. Let's say you want to split it into multiple parts. To do so, go to Actions and then select Modify Reserved Instance. You can modify the scope and switch between availability zones or change the instance size within the same family. Note that instance size can be modified only for non-licensed Linux, Unix operating systems. Regarding the scope parameter, it can be either availability zone or region. A discount for an availability zone specific reserved instance can be applied only to an EC2 instance within that availability zone. Plus, the scope parameter reserves the capacity for that instance type in that availability zone for your account. Discount for the regional reserved instance can be applied to any running EC2 instance within the region, and that gives you much more flexibility if you are running instances in different availability zones. However, the regional reserved instance doesn't reserve the capacity and provides only the cost benefit. In my example, I want to split my reserved instance into two T2 micro reserved instances. While splitting the reserved instance, make sure to add the number of units that's needed and choose add. Then choose the appropriate parameters and the number of instances that you need. Check the attributes that you chose Check that your target reserved instance is correct and then choose continue. Note that the option to update units is available only for non-licensed Linux, Unix operating systems and not for Windows systems. Review your modification request once again. If anything is incorrect, go back to the previous screen and edit your modification request. If you are happy with the new parameters, then submit modification. Review the message and choose OK. In a few moments, the old reserved instance will be retired and the new modified reserved instance will be active on the account. Now, I'll apply a filter to show only active reserved instances. As you can see, we have two T2 micro Linux reserved instances I just selected. Because in my example, this reserved instance is convertible I can use the flexibility for my benefit. Let's say my requirements change and instead of running two Linux EC2 instances, I need to run one Linux and one Windows instance. Thus, I can exchange one of my reserved instances with a Windows instance. Let's have a look at it. Select the reserved instance that you want to exchange or convert. Choose Actions and then choose Exchange Reserved Instance. Here, you can define the attributes of new reserved instance. You can even change the instance family. In my example, I'll choose M4 large. You can also choose a different platform. For example, I'll choose Windows. I'll also leave tenancy as default. You can choose a different payment option, but I'll leave mine as no upfront. Now, choose Find Offering. You'll be offered options that match your attributes. In my example, I want my reserved instance to stay with original scope so I'm going to choose an option with scope as region. Now you choose review. Double check that your target reserved instance is correct and then choose exchange. 
Be extra careful at this step because you won't have a chance to revert the exchange to its original configuration. After you review the notification here, choose Close. Your new reserved instance will activate in your account in a couple of minutes. So now you know how to get the most benefit from your EC2 reserved instance by modifying it to meet your needs. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>